Uh, we posted a little tweet earlier saying that we would be joined by Roxanne Pallet. We got hundreds of furious replies because apparently we shouldn't even be putting our next guest on the air. Such is the fury Roxanne generated with her behavior inside the celebrity Big Brother house. And she joins us to explain. Welcome to you. Shall we just run through what happened? Is that the best way to start? You took exception to your fellow housemate, Ryan Thomas, the ex Cory actor, playfully punching you. Seemed playful. Is, is that right? Should we take a look at it? Okay, let's have a look here. Ryan, I've got a clean towel. I've got a little towel I'm going to use. Oh! Woman beater. Go on, what? Did it, sorry. I was going to ask if you want your washing on, but I might shrink it instead. I might shrink it. Now, because that's quite long range, I couldn't tell whether he, he touched you or not. It looked as if he didn't. Yeah, he did. Okay. We've got some slow-mo, I think. Oh. Let's just have a look. All right. So he did, but it didn't, did it hurt? At the time it hurt, but when I looked back on that footage as soon as I left the house, it was the first thing I did was view that, that clip and I got it wrong. Yeah. I really got it wrong. Let's have a look. When you were back in the Big Brother house, I think you, you went into the diary room and mm. you registered your unhappiness here. I just need to talk to somebody in production about something that's just happened that made me feel really uncomfortable. He actually punched me like a boxer would punch a back. And we weren't play fighting, we, there was no... He wasn't banter, it wasn't a joke, there was no exchange. Big Brother just wants you to know you are being listened to. Big Brother doesn't want you at all to feel like you're not being listened to. I can't believe you're letting somebody stay that's done that. It's not okay. Why were you crying there? After it happened, I just felt like, I don't know how to explain it other than my mind ran away with me. I am a sensitive person, only my family and friends can bow for that. And everything in that house becomes so heightened. A look, a comment, an action, you, your insecurities are heightened, your sensitivity. And all I can say, or the only thing I can explain it with is, in the moment, it felt worse than it was. Mm -hmm. My, I can't prove a feeling. I can't show you a feeling. You, you said he'd been punching you repeatedly and deliberately. It was, it was the word deliberately that I regret. Yeah. Massively. And Ryan was understandably upset at your yeah. accusation. So we just have a look at his reaction now. I've done nothing, I've done nothing. Ryan, just take a deep breath for Big Brother. I just don't understand how you can do this. I don't understand it. I've just got to get, I've got to get this show back on the road now and I've got to make, for make amends and... What would you say to Ryan, Roxanne? I... Massively apologise to not just Ryan, to his family, his friends, his fans, every single person that watched that and completely and justifiable, justifiably saw an overreaction to what wasn't a malicious act. In that moment, because I am sensitive and I was emotional, I mistook what was playful and he did apologise for it, and he did say his ring caught me, and it was the word deliberate that I regret, because I doubted his intention, and the, there was no malicious intention behind that. And that's what I apologise for, because I shouldn't have questioned his motivation. I got it wrong. There's been, there's been a torrent of mm -hmm. abuse, actually, directed at you. Yeah. And I think maybe the reason is that people know that if there had been no camera there, mm. that would be the end of Ryan's career mm. completely. Because mm. because it's an allegation he can't disprove. No. He so, couldn't disprove his intention and I couldn't disprove or prove the feeling. But when I've, since I've been out of the house, the first thing I did was look at the clip and speak to my family and reflect in a normal environment because it was not a normal environment in there 
my judgment was clouded, my sensitivity was heightened. I wasn't thinking straight. And that's something I'm going to have to go away and work on. I need to become a better person. And this this has gone big now. And it's gone big because it's not just about Celebrity Big Brother. No. It's about Me Too. It's about mm -hmm. false accusations. Yeah. You've even had the former chief prosecutor, Nazir Afzal, tweeting that your actions encourage those who play down the enormity of mm -hmm. domestic violence. Mm -hmm. Is he right? I understand that view, I understand and I agree fully with every single person who was outraged by my reaction. But what about feeling. the domestic violence point? I've actually been a victim of domestic violence years ago. I've spoken out about it briefly. I've, I've seen what you've said. You describe some of what happened because I, I know you've spoken publicly. Mm. I've worked with women's aid because of my own experience and perhaps they were right in their recent comment that my reaction was perhaps a telltale sign of the fact that I have been in a situation like that and in in my life I have become conditioned. I'm oversensitive to certain things because of things like that. But I would I'm devastated. I would be mortified to think that even one person out there felt that I'd discredited or undermined abuse because that is not my that was not my intention but and that is not what women's aid did defend you. Yeah and that you will have seen that, because they said, actually, it's a complicated situation. Mm -hmm. You may have yourself been a victim in the past, and actually even something playful, some mm -hmm. sort of shadow boxing around you could bring it all back. It felt foreign to me. All I can say is that in that moment, my emotions and my thought process was greater than the action. And looking back, I absolutely overreacted. I was out of order. I got it wrong. Well, you can't, you can't apologise more powerfully than that, really. And all I can do is And you take... must regret it terribly. I because you've got... massively regret. You're now dealing... Yeah. Alistair's seen this in the past, when this torrent of abuse comes. I, in fact, yours is particularly bad today. Mm -hmm. It's thousands. You've mm -hmm. gone off Twitter. I've had to take a massive step back from everything Don't look in at my it. life. I can't look at it, but I don't blame everyone. I understand if I'd have been at home watching this, I would have been confused by my reaction. I've also had to realise that I'm quite an animated person and I'm dramatic and I'm all of the things people are calling me, I am. They're my character traits that I need to look at and investigate and, and better myself because this is a serious subject and I, it's become something that I need to really focus on now in, in an attempt to not just rebuild my, my career, but rebuild m my personal life. This is something that's now overshadowed everything because it's a serious issue to me. I, I'm taking this massively seriously and all I want to do now is reassure everyone that I'm well aware that I overreacted. I apologise massively to every single person that I offended, everyone that I disappointed, and the fact that I doubted the intention behind the action. Because... Jamelia, come, come in here, because you've been listening very intently. Yeah, um, yesterday, I I mean, I hadn't been watching Big Brother, and obviously I heard that you were coming on the show, so um, I had to, I went back and watched the episodes, and I have to say, like, it was it was triggering for me. I've been a victim of uh, domestic violence, and this might sound like a horrible thing to say, but I feel like in this instance, you were the perpetrator, and I know your history. I've spoken to you before about it, and so it's um it's difficult to 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 see you in that role. But I think it's important that you understand how that behavior was triggering. Um, Sorry, wanted, it was triggering Roxanne's behaviour was triggering. Rox, no, her behaviour to, uh, towards Ryan and to discredit him, as much as I understand where you're coming from in your perspective, um, and I understand the oversensitivities, I've got a big thing about I can't, I can't have people shout. If someone shouts, I really react badly. Um, but I saw what you did to him as an act of violence and, and I, I can't imagine being in your shoes. What I would say and what I would like to know is that you will get help because you 
you need help to deal with these emotions so that you don't have that impact. I think it was so heartbreaking to see the impact that you had on Ryan. And um, being honest, I actually made my daughters watch the episodes also because I thought as awful as this situation was, it was an example of, you know, of, of kind of what not to do. So, and I, I don't know how it feels to hear that from me, but I, I want you to know that I do actually think that good can come of this situation i really do admire and respect your honesty and um and i, and I think it's very important that you have apologized mm. um and just try and you know get help and, and Alistair, just, just ensure you do sorry, make let, something great let me just bring in Alistair because i know we brought you up to speed with this whole thing you you've missed a couple of episodes of celebrity <laughs> big brother a <laughs> couple of years um yeah a couple yeah. of years yeah what no, do you think because you know you know exactly what's well, happening i i wasn't even aware OK, I was aware of this thing going on in the background, but I wasn't aware. I've, I've never watched a Big Brother celebrity or otherwise. This interview. So just answer that because they, they wonder if you're saying what you feel you have to say rather than what you mean. I chose to be here today. In fact, I was advised not to. I'm not getting paid for this interview. I wasn't told to do this interview. In fact, it's been the hardest thing I've ever had to do is come here today. It's affected my family, my friends people that have detached themselves from me this is this is my reality now and I'm here today to acknowledge a mistake gosh that that's a line I'm not going to forget this is my reality now mm. and to show no, this is reality this is the real world yeah. indeed yeah. and little things little things that happen in a television program can blow up yeah. out of all proportion yeah. frankly and it, and um, I, I was the reason it blew up well and i I, did, take I, I would take issue with out of all proportion because i think mm. there's a massive thing going on with me 